good morning i am devi sena in this lecture we are going to discuss about the zigbee protocol architecture this topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks here is a representation of the zigbee mono wifi a comparison between the zigbee with wifi is represented here five reasons are there to select the zigbee and compare to the wifi the first reason is that zigbee is an expandable system the second reason is zigbee is energy efficient the third one is zigbee is more reliable when compared to the wifi the fourth reason is less overcrowding when compared to the wifi and the fifth reason is zigbee requires no router these are the major reasons for selecting zigbee when compared to the wifi zigbee protocol architecture the zigbee protocol architecture consists of a stack of various layers where ieee802.15.4 is defined by physical and mac layers while this protocol is completed by accumulating zigbee's own network and application layers zigbee protocol architecture representation is shown here in this diagram the zigbee protocol architecture is represented by zigbee lower layers and zigbee upper layers the zigbee lower layers is defined in the ieee802.15.0 standard and the zigbee upper layer is defined in the zigbee specifications these details we are going to discuss one by one zigbee protocol architecture representation discussion in this zigbee protocol architecture the physical layer as well as the medium access control layer describes about how does the transmission work what frequency and channel are used these details are discussed in physical layer and medium access layer and in the network layer the zigbee discuss about how the network formed how are the address assigned these details is discussed in the network layer and in the application layer defines various addressing objects including profiles clusters and endpoints these details we are going to discuss in detail in the further slides zigbee stack architecture zigbee architecture is a combination of six layers the application layer is present at the user level the application interface layer security layer and network layer are the zigbee alliance and they are used to do store data and they use the stack medium access control and the physical layer are the ieee802.15.4 oic model adaptation in zigbee stack is shown here in this diagram we are seeing the physical layer and mac layer comprised by ieee802.15.4 standard and the security and network layers as well as the application interface layer combines the zigbee alliance the application layer is connected to the user application the physical layer is directly linked with the radio link this is represented here zigbee stack architecture representation is shown here zigbee lower layers it is physical and mac layer description physical layer this layer does modulation and demodulation operations up on the transmitting and receiving signals respectively 
this layers of frequency data rate and number of channels are given below this is the representation of the zigbee physical layer specifications the 2.4 gigahertz represents the ism band the coverage of this frequency is worldwide data rate speed is 250 kilobits per second and the channel numbers for this band is 11 to 26 the next is 868 megahertz frequency band the coverage area is in europe the data rate is 20 kilobits per second and the channel number is zero the third one is 915 megahertz the band is ism band that is industrial scientific medicine band the coverage area is in america the data rate for that 915 megahertz 915 megahertz is 40 kilobits per second the channel numbers is 1 to 10 medium access control media this layer is responsible for reliable transmission of data by accessing different networks with the carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance that is csme ca technique is adapted here this also transmits the background frames for synchronizing communication here is a representation of the medium access control layer the medium access control layer of the zigbee performed in two modes one is a background mode and the another one is a non background mode in the background mode it uses slotted csme ca that is carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance techniques and in the non background mode it uses non slotted csme ca technique zigbee upper layers above the physical and mac layers defined by ieee 802.15.4 the zigbee standard itself defines the upper layers of the system this includes many aspects including the messaging the configurations that can be used along with security aspects and the application profile layers here is the representation of zigbee upper layers this zigbee upper layers is defined in the zigbee specification itself there are three different network topologies that are supported by zigbee namely the star topology mesh topology and cluster tree or hybrid networks topologies each has its own advantages and it can be used to advantage in different situations here is a representation of sigbi upper layers this sigbi upper layers are defined in the sigbi specification in the network layer the security management message broker routing management network management is done and in the application layer application framework zigbee device object application support sub layer is defined we will discuss one by one mesh or peer-to-peer -peer networks enable high degrees of reliability to be obtained they consist of a variety of nodes placed as needed and nodes within range being able to communicate with each other to form a mesh messages may be routed across the network using the different stations as relays there is usually a choice of routes that can be used and this makes the network very robust if interference is present on one section of a network then another can be used instead finally there is what is known as a cluster t network this is essentially a combination
combination of star and mesh topologies. Both IEEE 802.15.4 and SIGB have been optimized to ensure that low power consumption is a key feature. Although nodes with the sensors of control mechanisms towards the center of a network are more likely to have means power. Many towards the extreme may not. The low power design has enabled battery life to be typically measured in years, enabling the network not to require constant maintenance. Application support to sublayer. This layer enables the services necessary for SIGB device object and application objects to interface with the network layers for data managing services. This layer is responsible for matching two devices according to their services needs. Application framework. This provides two types of data services as key value pair and generic message services. Generic message is a developer defined structure whereas the key value pair is used for getting attributes within the application objects. ZDO that is Zigbee device object provides an interface between application objects and the APS layer in Zigbee devices. It is responsible for detecting, initiating and binding other devices to the network. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.